in January of 2000, there was a concert at the Oakland Coliseum Arena that was supposed to take place that Friday night. The headliners were the Hot Boys of Cash Money Records. Part of the lineup was Eve and Genuine. Hosting the concert was comedian Anthony Johnson. Only Eve and Genuine were able to perform because all hell broke loose. A wild melee broke out at the Oakland Coliseum Arena Friday night, terrifying thousands of young fans and forcing the abrupt cancellation of the first major rap concert here in more than 15 years. Gunshots were fired outside the arena as panicked and screaming teenagers tried to escape the shoving, punching, chair throwing pandemonium inside. More than 200 police officers were called to restore order and handle the fracas. There were no major injuries, but one 14-year-old boy was taken to the hospital after being hit with a chair and a deputy sheriff suffered a concussion after a chair was thrown on his head from the second tier, splitting his helmet in half. The deputy was taken to a local hospital for treatment. Police made no arrest because they wanted to focus on public safety and clearing people out of the area. The trouble began long before all the 11,000 concert goers were seated for the 7.30 p.m. performance. When the gates opened at 6 p.m., 60 deputies were already inside preparing for a rowdy crowd. Fans had begun crashing through the three entrances and crushing other concert goers, some as young as 7 and 8, against the glass pan doors. In the chaos, some fans managed to rush through the metal detector without being checked. The pushing sort of set the tone. The relentless and pushing continued as pockets of fights broke out all over the arena. It was fights here, fights there. Inside, while the first two acts, even Genuine, were performing, groups of six to ten people were rushing the floor near the stage, where several thousand people were seated. Now you've got a large group on the floor, not in their seats, pushing against the stage. You've got a you push me and I push you mentality. Fights started breaking out. One fight led to another. A disc jockey from radio station KMEL came on stage and began asking the crowd where they were from. As people started throwing up turf signs indicating what neighborhood they were from. Several more fights erupted throughout the crowd. Some people began hurling folding chairs that had been put out on the floor for seating and people were shoving each other. A concert goer was even thrown off a balcony according to a lot of reports. It was a zoo inside, said one security guard. Comedian Anthony Johnson came out on stage with a warning to the spectators to chill out or the event would end. Artie Valdez, 17 of Daly City, said the crowd had paid attention to the comedian for a while, but then the fight started again. Everybody was scattered like roaches, then they'd come back and then fight again. It was like a little riot Coliseum officials then decided that the fighting was getting out of hand. They decided to end the concert and empty the arena. The call went out at 9.20 p.m. for police backup. The hottest act of the evening, the rap group Hot Boys of Cash Money Millionaire, never got to perform. 140 Oakland police officers responded, joined by 16 Alameda County Sheriff deputies and 12 California Highway Patrol officers. AC Transit officers also helped. The CHP closed three off-ramps on Northbound Interstate 880 near the arena at the request of the Alameda County Sheriff's Department. As police were rushing people out of the building, pandemonium broke out when at least four shots were fired into the air from the crowd of fans who hadn't gotten into the concert yet. A horde of panicked fans coming out of the building tried to rush back inside. Witnesses said people were pushing and crying. You heard the pop pop and people were running and hiding and screaming. People were beating people up outside. Can we all get along? Asked comedian A.J. Johnson. Some of the fall, according to some, were the promoters who didn't properly prepare and the police who were nowhere near to be found when the mayhem broke out.
the so-called riot was more of a controlled effort at disruption. Most people in the audience were there to see an exciting show. But a pack of young men roamed the floor looking for trouble. As this group of 10 to 15 testosterone-driven young men came from the upstairs bleachers to the floor, past lacked security, to charge the stage. As they pushed people, fighting began as other groups of men started to push back. This fighting caused some people to start running towards the action and others away from it. The result was pandemonium. Many battles broke out. The general manager of the arena stopped the concert. But with the music ended, the battle only intensified. Now you had a group of angry people with nothing to do, said one man. There is the potential for violence of any venue with 10,000 to 20,000 people under one roof. But part of the reason for the fighting at the arena was the extra long intermission, about 45 minutes. This unnecessary delay gave the hoodlums time to push security out of the way and move on to the floor. Police came to the stage to look into the crowd, and comedian Johnson tried to restore calm. But the action was on the floor and the police were missing an action. This is why no one was arrested. Concert organizers must provide proper security and enforcement so people can't wander down the bleachers onto the floor. In San Jose and especially in San Francisco, where rap concerts are held twice a month at the Maritime Hall, incidents of violence are rarity. Security is a strong presence. Concerts also need to be run properly and intermission need to be as short as possible. I was in Oakland when this happened. I didn't go to the concert, but I heard a lot of stories from a lot of people who were there or knew someone who was there. But, you know, people are exaggerating the chain of stories a lot because I heard the cash money was on stage. They got beat up and they took all their, all their equipment. But according to this report, this news article, they didn't even get a chance to perform. But yeah, that's nothing new, man. Uh, I remember back in 95 or 96, the Dog Pound had a concert in Oakland at the Eastmont Mall of all places. For those of you that don't know, that is like the most dangerous mall in Oakland. It's been like that since the 80s. That's, where that, that's actually where the site show started. Or what they call now takeovers all over the country, but... Those takeovers slash sideshows started in Oakland at that Eastmont Mall. And that's where I live. I live right on Hagenberger in Hamilton, just down a few blocks. And, I, and again, I wasn't there, but I heard what happened. And the dog pound didn't even get a chance to perform. They called it a riot in the streets, but it wasn't really a riot. It was just a lot of sideshows going off. So it looked violent, but it wasn't. At least that's what I heard. I don't know if fights broke out or any shootings or anything, but from what I understand, it was just a big sideshow and police shut it down and things got a little out of hand. But with this Cash Money concert, yeah, it was definitely a, a mini riot. So go ahead and let me know what you think. Counterfeiting is a billion dollar business perpetrated by thousands of people throughout the world. Meet Kimo, one of those people. Kimo is a young man from the most dangerous city in America. After losing his job, he ventures into the risky business of counterfeiting to help relocate his family to a better place. <laughs> 